Well, it's fish feeding time, and we're about to uh, harvest a uh, a bit of algae and zooplankton for some goldfish and baby tilapia and a brood of crawfish. And so, this is how we do that. Essentially, because I've got a little algae production little uh, tank over here. And actually two of them, as you can see. And what I do is I scoop the bottom of these six inch water tanks, these water tanks, um, with a little fishing net, a little uh, fish net. And I, and I collect the um, larger algae, the dying algae, and the bacteria that's attached to that, and the little plankton that's eating the bacteria, as well as these uh, red worms, these larvae, if you can see them. But they, uh, they, they, they produce a few hundred in this thing every day that, uh, that are taken out. And all of that is in the detritus of the algae. Um, the algae that's sitting at the bottom, the algae that's dead at the bottom. Since it's only six inches, there's, you know, you can, there's just a lot of algae turnover. You can see, you can see one of those floating on the water. There's that red, that red worm, it's balled up. Anyway, so this becomes food that I collect for the fish upstairs. So I just do that a few times. Scoop the water. Scoop it up. Get this little movement behind the glass. The glass is there to disperse the water and increase the surface area for growing algae. You see that? And um, and the and the fiberglass fiberglass screen is on there to. Um, you know, help slow down the, the movement of the algae across the glass so it gets more sun exposure. And every day I do a little scoop of the algae off of here, and off of there, and do it off of this one. Nice and Rich with nutrients. Okay, so that comes with us to the fish tank. We shall go right now. The tables are doing well. There's a little algae and goldfish thing going on here. Okay, so here's the baby tilapia, and here's baby tilapia dinner. Yeah, they're there in in anticipation, and they're about to start taking off, chasing all the all the goodies that come into the water here. Should probably mix it up a little bit. Get the there's a balance. Here, let's, here we go. Here we get, we feed all the tanks, and if I can get some of that stirred up, then it won't be the last one to get everything. Okay, so that goes into the water, like so. Yep, just back a quarter of it. Not much is going in there. It's going to turn the tank all pretty well cloudy murky but you can see everybody's now in motion all the animals and the fishes are darting around and consuming whatever is in the in the uh, floating around in the in the algae and the treatise and 
a lot of microscopic uh, edibles in there. All just generally food. This is food. And we're creating food outside with nothing more than decomposing organic matter in the wa in the water and letting that decomposing um, uh, continue until it produces some algae. Add some, make sure there's nitrogen rich uh, composting material in there and expose it to sunlight, agitate it, keep it close to the surface, keep, keep the pool shallow, um, increase surface area, you produce algae. Whenever you have algae, you have zooplankton and all of this is food for the, for the fish and the crawfish and it's about to be some for the goldfish. Everybody's nice and quiet. Goldfish aren't as aggressive um, about their eating as tilapia are. They're very, very elegant, slow moving. Okay, so that's there. Got a few more little fish in here. We'll get them some of that. Get a couple in here. That's what I need. I get the rest of the. Get that, which is all the dreads and all the little floating worms. These guys in here. Me. And that's it. That's how we uh, that's how we produce zooplankton and worms and larvae and and uh, algae for fish fry and uh, as a fertilizer because we'll we'll talk about how that algae makes a great fertilizer.